Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to uh, today's session for Moodle MOOC. Uh, this is uh, Nelly Deutsch, and I hope you can see me and hear me. Uh, we're going to start in a few minutes. Uh, just add in the chat box where you're from and what you're doing and anything else you'd like to add. Feel free to uh, use the chat box as we go. The chat box is magical. It has amazing features that you can use. For example, um, you can change the color of the font. You can change the size. You can also move the chat box to the center by uh, clicking on the arrows. Then it goes down to the bottom or up. You can bring it back up. You can make it larger and larger. You can make it smaller. You can bring it back to dock. And uh, there's so much more you can do. You can add smileys. You can add uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, and lots of great features. I would not be able to survive without the chat box, which reminds me, I just came back from a face-to-face -face, um, online environment face-to-face -face, or online environment and it was really really hard not to chat uh, in fact uh, <laughs> we did disturb a few uh, sessions and uh, realized that you can't really talk uh, when you're online be I mean when you're face-to-face -face because you really have to um, be polite and um, and not disturb anybody and that was very faces. So there, I just changed my webcam. I hope this one's better. So um, good. I just got uh, your message, Isabel, and it sounds like you're doing amazing work. Okay, so uh, Moodle MOOC, uh, MOOC 4 is uh, in its one day before the final. So we've got one more day, and we've got two presentations with one of the speakers. Uh, there, plus uh, two sessions with me, one on Moodle and best practices, and another one on the breakout rooms. So um, let's, um, first of all, introduce our speaker. Uh, you can see our speaker is right there with a star, because every speaker is a star, and you can be a speaker as well at any of the online live sessions and little MOOCs and everything that is organized freely. A little bit about Len. I don't know if Len is there, but I hope he is. So let's see if Len is there. Nope, Len is not there yet. Len is actually not at home right now. He's not in his university. His, he is in Barbados. Uh, and I guess he'll be coming in. I was just chatting with him. Uh, in the um, on Google. Oh, you are there. How come I don't see you? That's weird. All right, so you're there. Okay, perfect. So a little bit about uh, Len. Len and I met many years ago. <laughs> Not that long, but internet years, it seems like a really long time, uh, at least for five years, five years ago, for sure, over five years. He's a lecturer at computer science. He's a computer scientist, Department of Computer Science, the University of Ghana. He has a Master of Science in Computer Science. He is very passionate about learning, sharing, and exploring. So any of you who are timid, shy about exploring places such as Facebook, I think that Len will help you understand that exploring is a great way to learn. We can learn so much from our students. So Len, let me uh, break out of, um, so I can give you, there we go. You know, WizIQ now has presenter links where anybody can become a presenter. There is no hierarchy. Once you're a presenter, you have the same hierarchy as the person who created uh, the class. So I think that's really good. All right, so Len, we see you, um, but you're kind of in the shadow. I think I am. No, no, you're not. You're fine. It's just, uh, no, you're, oh, that looks great. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so um, I'm going to let you get started, and I'm going to go in the background here. There we are. We see you really well. So good morning. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. All right, so I'll let you go. I'll be in the background. If you need me, just holler. I'll be here. I'm here. <laughs> All right. Hello? Um, so it's weird always not hearing it and hearing people and all of that. But if you can hear me, maybe you can just say hello or something. All right, okay. So, um, yeah, it's always the case that an hour goes by so fast. Yeah, face-to-face -face is awesome. Hello, I am uh, I'm Len. Um, I'm happy to be here. Sorry I've not been around more often. I've been very busy. Um, building a house, um, a home, and, uh, working and ha having a little baby and all that kind of stuff. So it's a busy time for me and I, who's remote English? I have no, I have no, I don't know what that means. Are we okay? Yeah. Who's remote English? Okay, so Sabrina, remote English. Okay, all right, yeah, Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. Um, so I'm Len, and Nelly said a lot about me. Uh, we met a long time ago, but not face to face yet. So I can get we we know each other very well. Um, so I'm not sure what I want to talk about, but um, we'll see how it goes. It might evolve a little bit. Um, I'm from Guyana, um, but I'm currently in Barbados. And one of the good things about being here is that I have better bandwidth. So I don't have to leave home and go to work on Sundays to present. So hopefully the bandwidth can help a little bit. And, um, yeah, yeah, Guyana, yeah, that's right. I am, I am a country boy, but I now live in Georgetown. <laughs> I'm a proud country boy, I love the countryside, um, but I live in Georgetown now because of work, so yeah. I, I wouldn't call Georgetown a city, Georgetown is like a big town, but it is the capital city. So no skyscrapers, you know, no fanciness, just a regular town. Yeah. Maybe you can Google up Diana and find a bit more. Okay, so um, what I want to talk about. I, if I could summarize it, basically, I want to show you how to, um, for those of you who don't yet know, and I suppose that would not be too many of you, so maybe you can tell me in the chat box, if, if you've used Facebook before, if you use it often, if you've not used it at all, and that would give me a good idea for where we're at. Um, so maybe in the next minute or, or so. So have you used, you know, are you a Facebook user? Yes, no. Um, all right, good. So Nelly is definitely not the one I'm working with this morning. She, she's an expert herself. So. Well, an expert, I'm not an expert. I don't use it, Belito. Okay, not use it at all. Okay. Ella, Anna, right? Um, who else? Len is an expert. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll, we'll see. I don't use it, but I'm willing to get a fine, not use that at all. So at least two of us so far seem to want to. Using it now for teacher development. Thanks, Sabrina. What's FB? Facebook. FB is short for Facebook. Hello, Albany. Have you used Facebook before? Facebook, yes, correct. FB, okay, yep, Facebook. How are you? I'm saying thank you. I use it, all right. How do you use Facebook? That's a good question, Ellie. So maybe we can talk a little bit about that. Um, tell us a little bit about your Facebook use. Yeah, that's right. 
I do not use. Okay, Helen. Helen, would you like to use it? Would you like to explore? Um, or you, or you, you don't. Okay, Jarek, that's fine. Um, Albany, do you use Facebook? Okay, Helen. We'll see what we can take from this. Anybody else? Okay, good. So it seems like we have a fair mix. I'd like to know how to use it with students. Okay, Sabrina, remote English. We'll, we'll share some, some ideas with you um, in this presentation. Roberta, you would like to use it as well? That's good. If you have not used it at all, I think it's good to try it. And if it doesn't work for you, then, then don't worry. You can always leave it. Sometimes you just have to explore and not always listen to what people tell you about it. I use it to learn and improve English, connect with my family and friends, and I have some groups. Excellent. So Isabel can teach us a little bit too. Very well. I leave, me too, I leave my family out of Facebook. My wife is not on my Facebook, even though she has her own profile. Um, and that's great, we have that agreement. Um, we don't need to be in each other's Facebook space. And that's fine, that works really well. Yep, same here, Nelly. Yep, well, that's a common thing. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they have to be there. Okay, all right. I'm guessing that for those of you who have not used Facebook before, facebook.com is the actual site, but I guess everybody knows that. Yeah, I have, okay. All right, good. So some of us use it for work, some of us are new. My children use Facebook. <laughs> Hi, Helen. Maybe now we can join them. Uh, okay. Or do I move to the next slide? Okay. Can Facebook be used with elementary or secondary? Um, that's an interesting question, Ella, because um, there is an age limit technically. I think it's 13 years and above. So 13, you're not supposed to be on Facebook, but I know students, I know kids who have their own profile. Um, so technically, I think it's 13 or below, but yeah, I mean, I know a lot of schools who actually, um, and children who actually use it, students, so. But that's an interesting question. And I think one that has context attached to it. Um, so. Right, I think, Anna, I think that's true. Um, that's true if you read the Facebook, um, the fine prints, so I think you can't use Facebook if you're 13 or below, so. Hello, Georgia. Flip classroom, they're very young and it's very important to have permission from parents. That's a very good point, Isabel. Um, I don't work so much with children, um, as in, High school, I work more at the university level, so I don't have so much issues with permission um, from parents and schools, but that's an important point. And yes, Anna, that's probably true. Um, it's hard to... Hi, Effie. Welcome. I kind of use educational ed, so... I think 13 is everywhere the limit, but kids are smarter. Yeah, kids are definitely smarter. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's one of the challenges. Um, how do you manage that? You don't, how do you manage, you know, having kids use or not use Facebook? And, and that's something I don't know a whole lot about because, like I said, I don't really work with high school children. But I'm so I'm learning a lot from you anyway, and that's the interesting thing. Um, so I'm learning from you what you do with your, um, you know, younger students on Facebook. So that would be very in interesting. Yeah, learning together. 
absolutely yeah um so it seems like we're we're all on the move with facebook um so so what i want to um so i don't know how to proceed because the conversation is going really nice um <laughs> so maybe we can just talk for the next hour <laughs> that would be fine um okay so so i have been um i've been using facebook for a long time maybe since 2000 and no i'm not distracted at all um i just don't want to cut your conversation because it seems like a lot of very good things that are happening in the chat box so i don't want i don't want to stop it you know i want it to be learning together as you said Please publish a summary in Spanish. <laughs> I used to learn Spanish. I don't know Spanish well. Um, I can say goodbye, adios. I can say hola. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. But some, can somebody volunteer to do the Spanish uh, translation? That, that would be excellent. Tom will be able to, to do it. Right, yeah. Um, Please do. Okay. No, we're, we're here to share and learn from each other. So, so that's fine. Okay. okay. So, um, can you find a copy of the chat box and translate it with people? Yeah, that might be might be a reasonable thing to do. So work for somebody to help us translate the conversation to Spanish so that others can benefit from it. Okay, um, can I go on? Can I get into my presentation? Is that okay? All right, good. So um, I don't want to take you through all the boring details, but um, just to tell you that I've been using Facebook for about six, six years now, well, maybe five years. Um, and I've used it quite a lot with my um, in my own teaching. Um, I teach face to face, but I use it to support students online. And um, you can actually go through the presentation; you'll see some of what I've done. So I don't want to to bug you down with that. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to skip ahead, if you don't mind. Um, you can read about the context. Um, so I'm not going to bore you down with what happens in my space. Um, a lot has been written about Facebook and and what it can do um, and its potential for sporting and enabling learning and all of that kind of stuff. So there's some, some evidence um, emerging about you know, Facebook's value. So, so that's some of the academic side of it. Um, what I've been doing is I've been using groups, and nowadays I have a lot of groups, and I'm going to, sh I'm going to, sh works with Facebook. Okay, great. Thanks for that link, um, Albany. I, so I was saying that um, I now have a lot of groups that I use. I use a, a, a group for each of my classes, um, for a lot of things, connecting, connecting, you know, you name it. So. I'm an active user, if you can say that. And I've written a bit about what I have, um, what I have been doing. So there's some papers, if you would like to read them. They're there, so I just put them up. Just to tell you that you have been using, and there's some evidence of that. Um, but let's get into, um, I'm on slide, where am, where am I? I'm halfway through the presentation, but this is where I wanted to start, really. So for those of us who haven't used Facebook much, there's some fundamental things that I think is important to know or to get used to. Um, and perhaps the first one is about you know getting on Facebook. How how do you how do you get on? So um, a profile, as as you would know, is perhaps the first place 
to start so you can set up a profile um, and then you're on Facebook and that doesn't take too long. So if you don't yet have a Facebook profile, can you can you just yes or no in the chat box? If you don't have a profile, a yes or no will be all right. Okay, right, fine. Yeah. Thank you. We're not English, okay. If you don't, then you can check Facebook.com and um, you know read up on how you have how you can you know get a profile. Now your profile is sort of like your personal space, isn't it? Um, and so one of the things I would say about my own experience is that I tend to manage my personal space very well. Um, at the beginning, I used to have a lot of friends on my personal space, and nowadays I don't have so many friends. In fact, my Facebook profile is sort of like a semi-professional learning environment, a personal learning environment for me. So, so I, I do some personal things, but I'm not, you know, oh, I'm having coffee or, or I'm here. You know, I don't do the real social things that a lot of people do. Um, so yes, um, thanks for that point, Aubrey. Um, so you can have a personal file, or if you have a business, or some organization, or something like that, maybe you can have a business profile. Um, so that, that's also possible. Um, the thing about the profile is that while you can share it, it's your personal, generally your whole space. Um, yeah, Anna, it, I, and you have, to, you have to be deliberate in how you do that. You can't, you know, if you start to accept and add everybody to your profile and your personal space, then it becomes really messy and difficult to manage. Um, and because, you know, Facebook advertises as well, you know, you, you have to really manage that very well. I do. Okay, so um, there are other ways you can use Facebook. So you can set up a Facebook page, or you can set up a group. Um, and I'll talk briefly about um, the page and the group. So the page is the way I would say summarize it is that a page is is a, is more public and more open than a group. So when do you use a page? Um, how many of you have a Facebook page or have used or you know like Facebook pages? That that would seem to know. Um, and so I, I think it's probably important to to understand um, how they're different and how they're similar. Um, so, do you have a personal page or do you? Um, do you use groups or, or what? Um, I have a personal and a business page. Exactly, great, yep. I notice I have to create a separate wall for personal business. That's a good point, Aubrey. Thanks for sharing that. Um, groups, thanks, Tom. You're there. Um, I also use groups, but I'm not sure what is best. I don't think, Nelly, I don't think there is a best. I wouldn't say best. I would, I would say, depending on what you want to do. If you want a more public space, then I think pages are better. If you want more privacy, um, you know, you want more <laughs> groupism, then groups are better. Um, so yeah, secret groups, I'll come to that in a minute. So pages are a bit more public. I, I think that's the, that's an important thing to keep in mind. Uh, all right, good. Okay, so what I want to talk about, I'm not an expert on using pages. I use groups a whole lot more. So um, and what we will do for the rest of the presentation basically is to go through the setting up of a group. And Stephanie will come to that. Okay, so if you're working with, you with me? Are you there with me? Right, if you're working with groups, then basically you can create a group um, and there are 
three kinds of groups. Um, yeah, so you can create an open group, an open group, a closed group, or a secret group. So there are different kinds of groups you can actually create, and we'll go through that just now. All right. Um, I want to talk a little bit about administration and moderation and those kinds of things, and how do you manage a group. So, right, okay, so I'm, I'm moving on. Summary, here's a, a nice summary that I took from another presentation. Um, and the summer, this summary is very good for, for beginners, I think. So, um, if you don't know what the profile or page or group is and, you know, stuff like that, then this is a good, good slide for you. So a page is usually public, whereas a group can be, but you can also make a group private um, or closed. Um, you can set up community groups, you can set up fan pages, you can create personal or business profile. So you have options, I think that's the important thing. You have options. And for those of us who are new and who are probably scared about Facebook, is that one of the things I, I would like to say is that you have ways of separating what you do, I think, and I think that is very important. So, so everything does not have to be public. And, and for me, I personally manage my space very well, um, so, but you have to spend time doing that. All right, so... So Nelly, what I would like to do now, I wonder if I can quickly go through the next set of slides and then we do a live um, session. Nelly, what do you think? Do you, do you mean screen you sharing? Question, if, you, if you have any question, can you please ask in the chat box so that I can respond? Maybe I'm going too fast or maybe something is not clear. Yeah, we can do a screen sharing perhaps. That, that would be useful. Um, to the others, if you have any question, can you please ask in the chat box? Um, I would be happy to, you know, having done that quick introduction. Um, okay, so while the questions are coming, so I am going to quickly show you some of the some snapshots of what I do and with some of my groups. So this screen here is a particular example of one group that I use and you can see me see my profile in the corner there um, Sabrina secret um, and closed are slightly different um, with a secret group um, it's not people cannot just find it and they cannot just ask to join you have to invite them so that's one difference um, so in terms of privacy, secret is quote unquote much private, much more private than a closed group. Um, I'll, I'll share some, let me share some links with you from Facebook that, that you can use. So if you want to read up and get some more details, please, um, you can check those, check that Facebook link. And here is another link. So um, you can get much more details about the differences and similarities between the pages and the groups and the different types of groups. So those links might be useful. OK, any other question? Thanks for that question, Sabrina. Um, and we'll go through that in a minute when we're actually creating a group. So. Right. Um, so how do you add people to a group? And we will do that. We'll do a live session. So maybe these sessions will not. These slides, you can actually see what I do. Um, you can do file management, which is a very nice thing I do that. If you notice, I share a lot of files with my, my students. In fact, we don't have a learning management system at work. So I use Facebook groups as my um, file sharing space. For my students and the great thing is that all of my most of my students are on facebook so i just um they get their resources from from facebook so that's a good thing um and of course there are ways you can do file management 
Um, and there are lots of other different things you can actually do. You can create a doc, so you can do some collaborative writing. And sometimes we do, but it's not. The doc is useful. Sometimes I use it to share assignments and things like that. Um, of course, you can do discussions, but the threads are not so great. So that's one limitation. Um, right. Um, there is a group chat now, and that's why I tried. It was in an. Wait, let, let me say one thing. That one of the one of the risks about using the Facebook group is that you you are limited to what they do. So if they decide tomorrow that there will be no group chat, then too bad. That's gone. <laughs> um, so yeah, but there is a group chat now, so we can actually do that. There, one of the limitations is that it's hard to do threaded discussion, so we don't worry about that. Um, so I, I, you know, I can just summarize this quickly by saying, you know, um, things are okay. It's a good place to share information, um, but there are some issues you have to know. You know, managing groups could be a challenge, especially if you have large numbers. Um, so you need to think about how you will do that. Um, and then searching for old content could be very difficult. Um, and tagging is, is, is one way of doing that very well. So um, what I would say is that I think if you haven't done this before, it's good to try it. That's all I would say. It's try it, and if you don't like it, then you just leave it. Um, and that would be it. So what we will do now is we can perhaps do a live demonstration. And I will take you into my Facebook space, if you don't mind. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm letting you into my Facebook space so you can see what, what, I, um, what my Facebook is like, if, if that's okay. Um, so Nelly, can we, can we do this like the screen sharing thing? Go into, yeah. Uh, you can go into screen sharing and just, um, I'll have my uh, mic open in screen. case, yeah, in case um, we lose anybody on the way. As it's preparing to install something. All right, good. That's going to happen quickly. All right, screen capture. So if you, again, if you have any questions or anything you would like to know before we start this live demonstration session, um, then... Please ask in the um, in the chat box. So I want to start screen sharing. So screen sharing is starting up now. Okay. Can you please provide the link? Okay, you please were provide the yeah. Link again. You were fine. Um, you were doing very well. All you have to do is go to the link, um, and you'll be fine. Um, go to your Facebook. Um, are you screen sharing going? It, yes, now it's, Are yes, my yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, a no. friend of mine is currently chatting with me, so I'm going to just turn that off a little bit. Um, oh, you can actually see what's happening. There's nothing really private going on there. Um, so that's my personal profile. Um, yeah, you'll see what you see you all apart from the face, weird Facebook ads and things like that. I do have a lot of educators here. Nelly is here as well. Um, she's, you know, you notice this particular screen here. She just shared, well, somebody has shared my presentation. Um, there are lots of things going on there. So that's my personal space, but I want to take you to the corner here. Now, if you look at the left corner, um, you'll notice I have uh, lots of pages, some are personal pages. Well, not personal, but pages that I use. Uh, and there are lots of groups there as well. Um, lots and lots of groups. Um, yep. Uh, so I just click on groups and... Sorry, I need to switch to see if there's any... Right, yeah, that's me there. I'm also on Twitter. If you... Right, okay. Let me try the link again. Okay, all right. Um, 
So if you notice here, um, Facebook has this nice way now of organizing groups. So these are my groups that you're looking at, and there are lots of them. If you notice, they, they are code, code. So those are groups that I've been using from years back. You uh, various classes. Yes, Nelly, go ahead. No, you keep going back. Somebody's asking Ah, uh, you keep going back and forth. So we're so we're seeing the WizIQ page instead of um, your Facebook. So if you could just stay on your Facebook as you talk, it'll be a lot easier. Sure. All right. So can you um? So I'm currently on the screen where I can view my groups. Um, and there are a number of tabs at the top, local groups, so Facebook has a way of organizing those, so local based on my time zone and my things for my profile and things like that, um, and then groups that my friends, um, you know, are part of or have created or have joined and things like that, and then Facebook also suggests groups to you. So, you know, for example, there is a Guyana food recipes group that I can join if I'm interested in food. There is a wearable technology and education group and so on. So the um, groups are used very, um, very much. I just want to take you into one of my, one of my class groups. So this group I've used in the semester gone. Um, and I'm just going to scroll through quickly to give you a sense as to what I'm doing. Um, so for example, here, I've posted some information, some students are asking questions and things like that. So, and then in the files area, that's where I upload all of my files. So reading materials, handouts, you know, different things. Um, I can see the members of this group. So these are my students. Um, it's a big class, it's a hundred, about a hundred, well, relatively large class. Um, and, and there are lots of other things I can actually do. So, so that's a little bit um, what a group would look like if you haven't seen one before. So what I will do is I will quickly go through the process of creating a group. So if you notice right in here, there is a create group option. And if I click on that, then this comes up, the create a group. Um, and somebody was asking earlier, you know, what is this thing about secret, open and close group and so on. So I'm going to create a group called MMC for something like that. Um, maybe I can make it an open group for now, um, or I can make it a closed group, or I can make it a secret group. What do you suggest? Maybe, maybe we can make it a closed group, and then create that. And I need to add at least one thing when I'm making this group. So I'm going to add Nelly, because she's on my profile, so I can actually access her. Uh, and then I can just create this group. Then I can choose a little, <laughs> little icon here. So maybe I'll just choose the light bulb. And here we go. We have a Facebook group called MMC4. And you can, can I switch back? to the is IQ thing, so I'm just going to, that's MMC4 for you, and if you click on that link in the chat box, you can ask to join this group if you're already on Facebook. Are you back, um, are you back in so, the group? Are you back on WizIQ? You're still screen sharing, I think. I, okay. I, I posted a link in there, so I just kind of um, went there to share that. Yeah. Um, so, so now over here, if I go back to my list of groups, I have MMC4, and that's our MMC4. 
and currently we have um, two members, myself and and Nelly, and then we can start a music. Just it's good. So that's how easy it is to use a group to set up a group. Um, and Nelly just posted a message in the group. Right now, there there are other things you can actually do. So what I will do is I will show you some some management things. If you notice the URL for the group at the top here, the URL is the one that I posted in IQ. It has a lot of numbers and stuff. So one of the things you can actually do is you can edit the group settings later. So you see this little gear on that. There are lots of options here. You can add people, you can send a message, you can edit the group settings. So one of the things I can do is to set up a group address and I'll call it MMC4. Um, well, it cannot be less than. MMC underscore four, so that gives us five character. MMC twenty fourteen. I'll just call it that. Show you how this actually. No, enter name that will be coming in email address. The group email address can be more, cannot be more than fifty characters. Something is wrong. Hang on, hang on for me. I don't know what is happening here. I'm trying to set the group address. Enter a name that will become. So what I'm trying to do, <laughs> that's a shame. I'm actually, I'll come back to that. So at the bottom here, you can actually decide on who can post what. So you notice by default, members and admins can post to this group. Or you can say, well, only admins can post them. So, um, so we leave it that members and admins can post. And then we can decide um, if posts need to be approved or not. So we'll leave that open for now, and we'll leave that. Um, but I'm still trying to set up this group address. You can set up, uh, Len, you can set up everybody as administrator. And then everybody could have rights to do whatever they want, except boot you out. That's fine. Do that too. Um, one, the one thing I want to show you, though, is how you can add. So you can add, so for example, I added Nelly. So if somebody's already on Facebook and they're your friend, for example, you can do that. Or you can send, you can send an email. Um, you can add people by email as well. So if I created a secret group and I know all your email addresses, I can just free you. So right in here, you can add people. Um, as it says, and you can do that. So you can add based on if they have a profile already, um, or you can add by email address. There are other things you can actually do here. You can leave the group if you like. So if I want to leave this group, I can do that. Um, I can send a message if I want to all the members of this group. Um, so for example, I can add Nelly, and then I can start a chat. So I can say hello. So you can do the group chat thing now. So I can add people from the group into a chat session. And that would be nice if you want to do um, a synchronous session. It could be difficult if you have too many people in there chatting at the same time, as you know. Um, but it's an option. So you can have a group chat. You can, so you can do various things to the group, OK? Um, you can upload files. So if you have some to upload, you can upload a file here. Um, somebody asked to join the group, so I'm going to add them. So I'm going to add Helena. I'm going to add. So we, yeah. So I've added a number of people to the group. Um, and members, we now have five members. Yep, we're five of us now in the group. So, and then I can, um, I can make Nelly admin or I can remove her from the group. Um, you know, so you can do that a little bit. Um, 
So there are some options. So you can upload photos, you can upload files. Files is the one I use a lot. So if you want, you can create a new document. So I can say, hello, welcome to Facebook. I'll just say hello. And then I can save that. Um, and I can view it. So in here I have a hello, welcome to Facebook. That's fine. So you can create a document on, on, in the group. Or if you want to upload a file, you can upload, um, you can say, you know, welcome. You can say, let's say I want to upload the slide that I'm doing. So MMC for Facebook slide, slides. And I can browse, and then I can select it on my computer. I have it here. And then I can save that. And then hopefully that will upload fairly quickly. So you can upload files from your computer. The other thing that you can do with files is that you can upload a file from your Dropbox. So Facebook allows you to connect to Dropbox. So if you have something in Dropbox, you can just share it from there. Um, or you can upload it from your computer. So now I've just uploaded that file. And if we go to the group, if I click on the group name, my internet is getting a bit slow here. Um, let me just close a few things up. Are you still getting me there, Nelly? Yes. Yes, I'm getting everything. Yeah, I'm just waiting for this page to load a little bit. Uh, I just uploaded a file, and I want to go to the home page of the group to uh, just check to see if it's actually there. You know, just to confirm that our file went up. And something is wrong with my internet connection. Um, that's why it's a good idea to have the desktop when you're screen sharing on WizIQ. Otherwise, it kind of drains, I mean, the Java uh, drains everything. Okay. Um, all right. So, so, seem to be fine now. Okay. Right. So, it, we're back in the group. We're back in the group. And if you notice, um, the slide I've just uploaded, I put a title, and then here is the slide. So it's a four-point slide, and you can download it, or if I want, I can upload another version, or I can preview it, and stuff like that. And then, of course, you can like it, if you like. I can like it, or I can make a comment, and stuff like that. So the files are pretty, um, are pretty good, and then I can ask, a, I can do a poll. Do you like Facebook groups? And you can... Just, and I can add some options. I can add yes, um, or no, and stuff like that. Um, so you can, there are a number of things you can actually do. No, enter, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And then you can answer that. So, all right. So, file uploading is very nice. I've shown you how you can actually um, add members, and people are beginning to join as well. Um, you can add photos or videos if you like. So, you can upload a photo or a video. Um, you can ask questions. You can write a post. You can set up events if you like. You can do a lot of things with um, the group. So hopefully um, we can learn a lot more in here. So if you're interested in learning more about what you can or cannot do with a Facebook group, MMC4 is perhaps a space where you can ask questions. And um, we can all share our experience in there. We have a group. It's closed. Maybe we can make it secret if you like by changing the settings. Um, 
we can send a message, we can do a lot of things. Um, so maybe I can leave it there. Um, for now, it was a 20 minute crash course into creating a Facebook group. Um, if you have more questions, uh, maybe we can complete the conversation in the um, with IQ. What say you, Nelly? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, stop screen sharing. Yeah. Stop screen sharing. Okay. And everyone, so, just a second, everyone, you may need to pop in everything that's at the bottom left so that everything is set to your right. I have to ask for permission. No, no, I think she's talking about her school. She, if she wants to be affiliated with a school and she needs to have a school account and then the school, okay. yeah. So, yeah, and maybe I hope they're pretty um, open so they will, they will give you a chance to do that. Um, so, so, any questions, more questions you'd like to ask, comments, suggestions about what you just saw, if you haven't seen it before? Oh, somebody couldn't see the screen sharing on iPad. I hope to check the presentation it started. Tomorrow I'm going to ask for it. Um, Nelly, I have a question. Yes. Um, so you're recording the presentation, and I suppose you're going to put it up on um, on YouTube, right? Uh, yes, using uh, I'm using QuickTime, not Camtasia. Yes. No, I was going to say uh, I was showing you. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything personal in my screen share that might be a problem, though. But yeah, anyway, we can talk about it. That's fine. Um, yeah, screen cast. Okay, so what do you think? I mean, we have five minutes more, I think. Uh, what do you think about the Facebook group or Facebook in general? Do you still have reservations? Are there issues that you think you want to still talk about that are not clear? Maybe you're not convinced. Um, so we can take that um, now that you've seen. Yes, I am to be the iPad app, but shared screen mechanism. I could hear everything, all the tips. Thank you. I'll try on my Facebook. Um, so, yeah, maybe you can just join the group and we can talk there. Join the M MC4 group um, and perhaps. Yeah, there's a good point. Uh, Len, you made a very good point, and Pablo's uh, also mentioning it there that if I record you screen sharing your students' groups, then that would go against their privacy. But, yeah, and, uh, but I don't, I yeah, I don't think, I wasn't doing that. I, I just went into the, um, into the group that you shared. I mean, the group that you created. Yeah, so maybe, you, maybe you can edit out the parts that, um, that might violate somebody's privacy. Yeah. Um, but, the, um, but yeah, the, so that's, it's, it's actually interesting that we're experiencing this live. Something we've done, maybe I've just not thought about it too much. Um, and, you know, we have to deal with it. Um, the issue of privacy in general, though, is that this is what I do. This is my personal philosophy. What I don't want anybody to know, I don't share on Facebook. And sometimes that you don't know what somebody's going to do with what you share, so it's hard sometimes. But I think the, the general point is that you have to be a bit more thoughtful about um, what you post. Um, you know somebody is going to collect this data, um, so that's, that's the risk we take. You know Facebook would record all of this and everything. Um, but that's true for almost everything else anyway. So my advice would be to just, you know, be careful with what you mean. 
Does this mean that if not private, then you could have problems with privacy? Um, I'm not sure what you mean, Tom, but what I was saying is that I was showing my friends' list, for example, and the groups I use. And if that turns up on YouTube and some of my students see this video, they might not feel too very pleased about that. So I was just telling Nelly that maybe she wants to edit out my personal sharing of my some of my Facebook things. I was doing it because I thought the live demonstration is fine. Okay, it's not secret. Well, the kind even if a group is secret, the stuff that you put will be recorded somewhere. So Facebook will still have the content and all of that. And you have to then trust them not to to use that content um, in any way. So I am never sure if I am if if I am ever one hundred and so in a way I'm prepared to to take that risk. But like I said I'm also very careful with what I put up there. Um, yeah, so that's right Nelly, they're 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 in Facebook so it may not be so much of an issue, but it's something that clearly we have to think a little more about and we need to know, you know, what we can share and what we cannot share. So yes, privacy is definitely a big issue, but somebody mentioned that we have to um yeah, and exactly. So if if you have Boodle that you control, then you have control over a lot of it. No, I don't think you can force anybody to join, and you don't want to do that. But I say to my student is that you don't have to have, while you need a Facebook profile, you don't have to use it as a, as a personal space. Some of my students, they have a profile, all they use it for is to access the groups which allow them to collect their materials and their reading and so on. So they are on Facebook, but they are not using it for private purposes. They use it to join the groups, and that is all they do. And I think sometimes we have to take time and explain that to students. Because you don't need to be my friend to join my groups. You can be entirely separate, so the teacher does not need to be in the student's private space. And the student does not need to be in the teacher's private space. So I do have some students who use Facebook only for joining my groups. They don't have a personal um, Facebook profile that they use actively. But you know what I do? Um, you know what I do, Lynn? I delete my groups, my class groups, when the classes end. So there's no record. I don't think there is any record or there shouldn't be any record of what they've posted I have not done that, but maybe it's something that um, perhaps be done to sort of with some of the some of the potential issues. And then a lot of my students will leave; they disable their profiles and, and things like that. So, um, but there, there are lots of issues. And Nelly mentioned it. this is a this is Facebook space. We can't always decide what will happen and on what we want to do. Um, so we have to pay extra attention to what we do with our students and so on. Um, Helena asked a question earlier that I missed. I went back to it. Sorry, Helena. I missed the question from you earlier. Is Facebook better than his IQ? Um, <laughs> I think there are different things. Um, I don't know about this IQ too much, um, but Nelly can tell us more about that. Um, you can make groups and stuff. What, what can you do with this IQ? So maybe, maybe let's let's ask that question in the Facebook group. Is Facebook better than this IQ? Or you know what are they good for? And then we can have a discussion in there about it. Nelly can educate us, and then I can tell you what I know about Facebook groups, and then we can you know have that conversation. Um, yeah, so it's like, I wouldn't say apples and oranges, but they are different. Um, what I find is one of the good things about Facebook is that most of my students are already there, and it's just a click away from getting into the groups. So, that helps. 
Um, link for Facebook group. Can somebody share the link? I don't want to switch back and forth. Yeah, indeed. Let's at least keep this conversation going in our MMC4 Facebook um, group. And we can learn a lot more from each other there. Um, yeah, Pablo, that's the same point. <laughs> um, so it's 10 o'clock. I think I have used up all of your time. Um, the learning starts basically when the class ends. <laughs> so, so somebody, can somebody please share the link for the Facebook? Let, let me just switch back and do that. Um, it is right now. We'll, we'll add the link. So you can click on. We'll add the link to the course and then we can do that. What I'm going to do, you see that long number at the bottom there? I want to change that to MMC4 or something. Um, and I can change that, um, and I'll, I'll explain how, because that number is difficult to remember. We want something like facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash MMC4 or 04 or something like that. So if you see that change a bit, that's okay. We'll still be in the group. But yeah, we have a lot to learn. So please join the group and let's talk there. Let's ask questions, and I, I have a lot to learn from you as well, especially with using Facebook at, um, in the schools and so on. Oh yeah, we can continue the discussion on his IQ if you don't want to come on Facebook. So, yeah. We, we're going to be in both, Lan. It's just that if we have questions and problems and we don't know how to get there, we'll be able to uh, ask questions before we get there. So uh, pre-Facebook uh, group questions and then we can be in Facebook and then we can go back and forth. So Len, I'd like to thank you that you've done for us because you've opened up a lot of questions, ideas that we can bounce off um, as a result of your session and continue learning. So thank you, thank you. Thanks very much. And thank you, everyone. So join the session there in the link. Uh, and thank you, everyone, for coming. We're going to be, uh, and you're all invited to the next session in about two hours on uh, social networking and how we can all become community of practice and learn together, which uh, is exactly what Len has been suggesting throughout uh, this session. So thank you.